All right, all right, all right. My, my, my. Gemini. Yes, baby. We have saved the best for last. What is going on, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Geminis? What's going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July. Shout out to everybody who has clicked this video. I got new deck announcements for whatever reason I don't have them out so we got some new decks that came in this month we got quite a few of them so let me pull them out real quick okay so I want to say thank you thank you and thank you to everyone who supports my page have it be booking personal private readings um sending love and light through the paypal um sending support through the amazon wish list you guys make it possible for me to keep this thing running, to keep my equipment updated, to make sure that I am giving you guys multiple sources of viewing pleasure to kind of get information out of. Um, you guys have been amazing and thank you guys for supporting me along this journey and so I could give the love and light back and so that we could get the information that we need to help us bring forth better days, true life, love and blessings and you know, prosperity and abundance in our life. So thank you guys again, everyone who's been showing support. Again, we will be using today the Oracle of Visions, all right? As y'all know, y'all don't already seen my gangster ass Alice of Wonderland playing card deck. Y'all already know we will be using her today. We will also be using the Under the Roses Lenormand deck, all right? You will see later on the hip hop uh, East versus West rap quotes deck all right the playing card deck and you guys should have seen already the music genius deck it being used in the collective so again shout out to everyone who has been supporting the page and that made this happen and um if anyone wants to support the page all of the information to do so for my amazon wish list and my paypal is in the about tab if you want to book a personal private reading what you need to do is book with me the link up with me the booking link says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me again at scorpion reds tarot as simply book me go ahead and click that and select the reading that you want and then link up with me my instagram is directly under the booking link so go ahead and click my instagram send me a personal private message say hey reg this is so and so i booked with you on this or that today cool and then we'll link up and we'll um you know connect for the video chat uh reading session um if you do not have instagram you can connect with me on google hangouts it's an easy app to download only thing you need is my email which is in the about tab as well but it is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, it's scorpionreds at gmail.com. So if you don't have Instagram or prefer not to use it, that's cool. Just go ahead and download Google Hangouts and use my email and shoot me a message and we'll link up there. Now, if you do not want to get on camera, that's cool. You can just send me your question um, pertaining to the reading that you selected. Um, you need to purchase an add-on, though. It's an add-on in the menu. It's called um, Video Recap Slash direct video upload so for the people that are having the direct um video chat session with me i can record it for you and upload the video to youtube so you can go back and watch it because a lot of times you guys uh, message me back with questions about what was said and when i disconnect from the energies i never remember so you know if you if you know you're going to be asking questions or you want to go back and look at it that might be good for you to purchase that um that add on so you can have your video of your sessions forever forever ever forever ever all right and that is just ten dollars and again if you do not want to get on camera which is understandable you can just purchase that direct upload i'll record the video for you just make sure that you send me the question pertaining to the reading don't tell me why you're asking a question don't tell me the information around it because we're going to go directly to source to see what spirit has to say about it because i don't want you to tell me everything that's going on and then you say well i just told you that okay so i want to go into the situation completely blind being able to pick up pick up on the energy that source has to say and that spirit has to say and we're going to go from there and we're going to figure out how to move forward based on the energy that is being provided okay so thank you guys again for the love light and support and let's get into the reading let me give me some water real quick hold on hold on i hear walking like i talk it in the background come on y'all walking like i talk it 
Say niggas pocket watching. Come, hold on. Oh. Is that how we starting off Gemini? You said niggas pocket watching. Hold on. Who pocket watching you? Hold on. Somebody pocket watching my boo. Who is pocket watching? Niggas pocket watching. Hold on. Uh-uh. We about to get into this tea, y'all. Hold on. Let's get into this prayer because they already starting. Y'all already starting. Gemini said walk it like I talk it. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Hey. Anyway. Father God, listen, you already see how Gemini setting things off. You already see how Gemini setting things off in this reading. Father God, Gemini said that they walking it like I talk it. And they say people is pocket watching. But you know, we got plans for that. We got plans for that. We got time for that. You know, we got strategies, you know. Father, hold on. We rubbing our hands together. We blowing dust. Hold on. We blowing them dust. We blowing dust in their face, honey. Ain't got nothing. Nathan, Nathaniel, Nansford, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Go ahead. Listen, Father God, please put your, your anointing hands on Gemini. Cause <laughs> my, 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 Gemini. I, 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 I'm almost scared. <laughs> <laughs> Father, put your hands on us right now. We need to read it. Because I can tell you right now, Gemini ain't come here to play. Not today. Okay? Father, give us guidance. Please let us know the energies that are surrounding us around the month of July. Father God, because we ain't about to let nothing fly. Father God, put your hands on us. Give us guidance. Please give us guidance for the uh, for Gemini for the month of July. Thank you, Father God. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on to your love. You got to hold on. What? What? <laughs> Why am I singing that? Okay, no, I'm dead as interesting now. <laughs> Y'all said I'm walking it like I talk it. Hey, nigga, pocket watch it. <laughs> and then you just hold someone. You better hold on to your love. Okay. What? <laughs> Blessing in disguise, honey. And trustworthy guidance. Come on today, Father God, and give us the glory. All right. All right. Father God said, honey, the situation that came upon you was a blessing in disguise, honey. And you're getting some trustworthy guidance to die. To die. We're going to figure out what the hell is going on. Niggas, pocket, watch it. Hey. All right. It said, what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protecting, protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayers in the best way. And I just want y'all to know in the background, it's French Montana playing bitch slide. Bitch slide. <laughs> he said, tell that whole bitch I don't love her. <laughs> bitch slide. Slide. <laughs> slide. Y'all gonna make me turn it up. I don't even want to say come on, bust it for real, nigga. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Y'all doing me. It says trustworthy guidance because I can tell y'all going to be on y'all bullshit right now with this reading. It said you've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayer. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for it and open up and receive our support for anything that you need related to this idea. I got to go right into it because y'all, 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 y'all playing. Y'all tell them bitches slide. He said, tell that hoe bitch I don't love her. <laughs> bitch slide. <laughs> you told that bitch, look, look, look. You better hold on to your love. Because I'm about to tell that hoe bitch I don't love her. <laughs> bitch slide. <laughs> okay, I got, I can't. Okay, let's go. Father God, please tell me what is going on right now. <laughs> Gemini said, come on, bust it for a real nigga. <laughs> Ooh, don't burn my card up. Ooh. Seven of Wands, they tired of all this goddamn fussing and fighting and shit. Okay? Gemini said, I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm tired. I am tired. Bitch, I'm tired. I'm tired. 
I'm tired of all these fucking idiots shooting their daggers my motherfucker way. I'm tired of people giving me these evil ass stares. I feel like this is someone possibly at a place of business or maybe a certain neighborhood or residency. And you just be feeling like people that you don't even know be giving you the mug eye, the evil eye and shit. And you like, what the fuck is that about? You just be getting a whole lot of unnecessary energy from a whole lot of unnecessaries. Someone brought a whole lot of unnecessaries into your atmosphere and you tired of people shooting their little daggers at you. You tired of arguing. You're tired of fighting, competing. You tired of the manipulation. You try to people playing with your fucking emotions. You understand what I'm saying? And you're tired of arguing and fighting with people. But you see this situation as a complete burden. But what spirit is trying to tell you that at the end of the day, everything that happened was for a reason. It was a blessing in disguise because it looks like you are putting down your, your input into this situation. Whatever you were putting into this situation... That was feeding this fire. That was feeding this conflict. You are removing your input. You don't have nothing to say. You don't care what no one else has to say. You don't want to know about it. You don't want to see it. You, it doesn't have no part in your life anymore. You're tired of being the motherfucking sacred clown. You're tired of being the clown. And it says sacred clown. So it feel like it was a lot of motherfucker fools and shit like that. But you was just the one that wore the crown. You understand what I'm saying? And what I mean by that, because you got to understand the seven of wands means a lot of competition. It means a lot of confusion, battle, conflict, chaos. It's from a lot of different angles, a lot of different. It's coming at you from a whole different angles. You understand? So it's like. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. <laughs> no exception to the rule. Do you feel what I'm saying? So you just feel like everybody played a fool in this situation. You was just the bigger fool because you was the one in the house dealing with it. You see what I'm saying? Every All these other people were on the outside being bigger idiots do you understand what i'm saying the only difference was was that you were the one that was literally in the dealing with the core problem of the situation while all these other idiots on the outside trying to take your crown not realizing that you don't even want the motherfucking crown okay this 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 sacred crown represents the fool you tired of being the fool you stepping out on faith and you're making movements this card represents movement the fuck away from the conflict in the battle so you know what if i'm gonna be a fool i'm gonna be a fool and i'm gonna walk the fuck on up out of here and i'm gonna leave you back there with all your mischief that's exactly what i'm gonna do you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be a fool and I'm going to walk out on faith because I know I'm trusted and I believe in me that I can do something way better than this because y'all got me fucked up. The Queen of Pentacles, okay? Like you said, people pocket watching. Hey, motherfuckers was pocket watching. You felt manipulated. You felt taken advantage of. You felt like your generosity and, you know, you, you felt, <laughs> you felt, like you were taking advantage of like your kind heart to give and to nurture and to take care. You understand? And I feel like you kind of walking away almost penniless because people were pocket watching you. I feel like people were clocking your dime. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like I'm not walking I'm walking away from this situation a little less fortunate than I came into it, but I have the faith and I know, I listen, you see how that fool is shooting fire back at what's behind him? I listen, I blow the dust at you. I shoot fire right back at you, and I'm going to continue moving the fuck forward. Because I know right now I might not have the assets and the resources that I had when I came into the situation. But I know that I can make shit grow again. And I am not worried about it because I'm walking on faith. And anybody's trying to shot, uh, stop me, listen... I might like, look, you might call me a fool, but I ain't crazy. I'm shooting that fire right back at you, bitch. So don't listen. This is someone that got somebody fucked up. This is someone that got somebody fucked up. And look at his face. I want you to study his face. 
it's a little bit about of mischief in his face. So I feel like I don't know what Gemini did. I feel like Gemini. <laughs> And then we got the Empress card here. So one of you guys are expecting. Y'all are pregnant. You see that she has milk lactating from her breast. Okay. So I want to say that you might be shooting daggers. Listen, you are shooting fire back towards the enemy. Because at the end of the day, you was never a friend to me. You brought all this conflict, all this confusion in my life, I'm moving away and I'm shooting fire. I'm shooting fire towards your bitch ass. So just know, laugh now, cry later, bitch. Because just know I got you, bitch. Just know I got you, 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 and you. I got all of you bitches. Uh-huh. So just know, as I'm walking away, if I'm walking away smiling, bitch, laugh now, cry later. Okay? Laugh now, cry later. Okay? Yes. Most, in, most, most, most definitely. Most definitely. Because you will not leave me. You will not leave me, especially if this is someone that's pregnant. If this is someone's pregnant, they're like, listen, bitch. You immature motherfucker, you will not leave me with these babies, okay? And then you think that you're not going to communicate with me about these coins, with this Prince of Wands, I mean with this Prince of um, Pentacles in reverse? Look, the Prince of Wands is right here. We got the Prince of Wands and the Prince of Pentacles. So this is like, you think that you're going to leave me as a pregnant or you're going to leave me here with your kids and you're not going to communicate with me about the resources for how to take care of them and you're going to take your little your little pizzle ass dick and you're going to run about in the streets and you think that you're going you only come you only coming over here because you want to strike it when shit is hot and when shit fizzled out you just going to run off and do whatever you want to do this is someone that is immature that ain't trying to put the time in that ain't trying to put the money in that created something with you but ain't trying to take no responsibility no responsibility this person comes in and out to have sex with you to keep impregnating you with children, leave you with bills, don't bring nothing to you, and ain't offering you no commitment. Because they out there in the streets. Now, if you're not pregnant, if you're not pregnant, okay? If you're not pregnant, if you do not have children, if you are not expecting children by this person, this basically lets me know you're not competing for someone's affections anymore. You're a fool, but you're a fool on faith. You believe that. Oh, and do you see traps at the bottom of? Do y'all see these traps? Y'all see those traps? I didn't even see that. This person said, I'm not that stupid. I'm not about to fall into your trap, bitch. I might be walking away a little less fortunate than what I came but just know I'm the empress. I will remain the same. I know how to grow. I know how to bring forth abundance and to bring forth new life and greener pastures. You think that you're going to take a long time to give me a pinnacle, okay? You think that you are. But me being the beautiful empress that I am, number one, I look good and I feel damn good. So if you're not pregnant, you look good. You feel damn good. You got a nice house. You got a nice car. You got a nice ass job. You got a nice ass bank account. Your booty fat. Okay. <laughs> your lip gloss popping. Your cheeks glowing. Your boobies showing. Honey, you good. You dumb good. Okay. Girl, you might have went and, and, and dyed your hair blonde. You might have went, because her hair is blonde. You might have went and dyed your hair blonde. You might have went and took you a vacation, like I said, with that fool card. You moved away from those traps. You said, you're not going to trap me into no bullshit. I'm about to move on right past your motherfucking ass. I'm going to find some way to collect some coins. And I'm going to go somewhere so I can sit pretty, okay? 
I'm going to go somewhere where I can sit pretty. And I'm going to move around y'all bitch motherfuckers that talk a lot of shit but ain't offering nothing. Okay? That only thing you trying to do is leave the bitch with a wet pussy and dry pockets. Because that's all you about to do. Because that's all these two people right here do. Wet pussy, dry pockets. That's it. And now I'm going to move right on past the financial misfortune. Because I'm going to get that shit together. I'm going to get that shit together. And I'm going to move right on past y'all. Okay? Take care now. Bye bye then. Okay? So this situation was a blessing in disguise. It was a hardship for Gemini. Oh my, my, my. Was it for Gemini? But at the end of the day, it taught Gemini, don't even waste your time with princes. I need me a king. I need me a king because these motherfuckers try to trap you into bullshit. And Jim and I about to move right the fuck on past that. I don't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. Bitch, that fuck with my bronchitis. <coughs> Bitch, bye. Bitch, I ain't got time for that. I do not got time for that. Okay, what appears to be a problem is actually part of your prayer answers. You will understand the reason behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayers in the best way. In the best way. You are getting trustworthy guidance, okay? Jesus, Lord, what is this? It says we are all mad here. <laughs> Listen, in whatever neighborhood, whatever setting you're in, I think you, I think you're starting to realize this whole environment. We are all mad here. And none of this shit makes sense. Everybody's fucking life in this in this area or wherever you're at. It, I don't know if this is an area, if this is a job, where it's like, because this could even be a job. Where's a whole bunch of conflict at your job? And you just like, listen, I'm about to move the fuck on. You understand? So I know I can do better. I'm not growing here. I am not, I cannot successfully grow here. And I'm beautiful. I have so much more purpose and talent beyond this you not offering the money that I want and not only that I don't even have the passion and, and ambition the way that I did anymore I don't I don't want to do I don't want to stay here anymore you understand what I'm saying it's not worth me giving my energy to this shit because at the end of the day I'm looking at all of y'all motherfuckers is crazy in this bitch and not only that I think I'm going crazy too I think all of us in this motherfucker is goddamn crazy all of, look, look, all, all, all of, all, every fucking last one of y'all. Y'all trying to come at me with the bullshit. And I think y'all, all of y'all crazy. Don't none of y'all have y'all life together and have the audacity to talk shit about me. Are y'all serious right now? I rebuke all of y'all in the name of Jesus. I'm going to shoot fire. I'm going to shoot fire back at you, bitch. Go on, back up, back up, back up. And let me go on somewhere. All y'all motherfuckers mad around this bitch. It says we are all mad here. It says everyone is a little different. All of y'all done came off the slow bus. All of y'all was back there licking the dust off the back window and shit. Uh, uh, just licking. Licking. Making heart shape shapes up in the... In, 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 in. <laughs> Why am I seeing... Someone, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody that might have was on a slow bus, I'm sorry. But I'm seeing someone sitting on the back seat of the, uh, 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 the slow bus. And you know how I got that big window because, you know, people, okay. you know, I got that big window back there. And I just see somebody just licking with their tongue a heart shape <laughs> into the dirt. Like, you know, how normal people put their they finger put, wash me. No, this nigga's using their tongue, putting a heart shape, like showing somebody that they love <laughs> Like, nigga, is that how you show me love with your crazy ass? You gonna put your tongue in some dirt and lick a heart shape? What? Oh, oh, y'all fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All y'all motherfuckers a little goddamn
am off a little different. I'm sorry, not off. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But that's what Gemini is telling me. And if y'all got beef, y'all take up smoke with Gemini. Because this is how Gemini is talking about y'all. This is what Gemini is showing me. That this is what they experiencing. I'm seeing this in like a neighborhood or ever a work environment. This is ever like... It's like a neighborhood or group of people. It's like a, a social group of people or like a family... You know what I'm saying? Like a like a family environment. Like a <laughs> it's like all of y'all motherfuckers is crazy in here. And then this in the reverse, this is saying, Who in the world are you? It says getting to know the new you, but this is in the reverse. It's like I feel like <laughs> I feel like because whatever it is about this environment and this Queen of Pentacles being in the reverse. And not able to grow, even though their body is growing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, because the Queen of Pentacles could also represent. Oh gosh, not oh gosh. I want to say if this is someone that's pregnant, like this, this shit could be putting a lot of stress on their pregnancy, and could put their pregnancy at like high risk. You know what I'm saying? And that's another reason why this person may be wanting to move. With this full car, like I gotta get out of here because I'm realizing with that we all are mad here. Like all of y'all are a little bit off, all of y'all a little bit different. None of the the friends or the family that is associated or the other colleagues at this job, none of them have their shit together. None of them are in a committed or a stable. You see what I'm saying? This Prince of Pentacles in reverse and this Prince of Wands in reverse. So this, rec this, this represents people that are immature, that do not have a mindset of something... With the ability to last, to stay. They don't want to work towards nothing. Like, this is people that don't want to work and that start shit and don't want to finish it and just leave it hanging and just got a whole bunch of empty projects just laying around and just have. It's just life is just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And you felt like. It says, Who in the world are you? And it's like, you don't even know. You can I, I feel like you were getting sucked into the madness so much that you started to become mad. You started to become mad. And now it's saying to use your time well. And I'm sorry, in all of these cards I'm seeing is devious cat. And I don't know who this devious cat is, but I really do not like this cat's energy. I really don't like this cat's energy. I feel like whoever... That energy is that's in that cat. This person is like a little deranged. You know what I'm saying? I really do feel like a mad, crazy, and like deranged energy. And I don't know if like the drama because I see that I see a lot of fucking drama. I see a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fucking drama. And especially if someone is expecting a pregnancy or if they're just trying to plant a seed and build something. If they're trying to grow, they're trying to excel in their career. They're trying to move forward. They're trying to blossom. You can't do it amidst craziness. Like you fall into the craziness and it says make every moment count you know what i'm saying and it's like you can't fall into this craziness because i feel like someone is falling deep into this madness where it is literally they might not be spending their time wisely they might be spending their time falling into the madness and if you have not pulled yourself out of it you're about to pull yourself out of it Cause you feel you feel like a clown. You feel crazy. Like this shit is crazy. Like this shit is fucking crazy. And if anything, everybody plays the fool, but you feel this like the sacred crown. Cause you're the the sacred clown. Cause you're the one that wore the crown. You were the one in like the heart of the situation. And you could have just easily walked away instead of using your time. Battling and competing like this where it's driving you crazy, especially when you're expecting so much of your life. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like right in the nick of time before this shit literally drove you mad, 
you decided to use your time wisely and make every moment count because i really do want to say that this situation was like pushing you to the break of fucking madness it really was it really was and then it says a moment of regret it says nostalgia idolizing the past fearing that you made a mistake it's just like I'm feeling like if this is someone that's pregnant, because I have to keep addressing that because you got the Queen of Pentacles and you have the imp right next to the Empress. And I'm feeling like this is like this is a this was a lot of stress on someone's pregnancy and uh, answer that and take anyway. So, excuse me for the interruption. I feel like um, this is someone that them thinking about, it was just a lot of chaos. I'm trying to tell y'all, it was a lot of chaos in this relationship or whatever this was, ever this job situation. I feel like this person tried so hard to put time and effort into trying to salvage something because it was so good in the beginning with that nostalgia idolizing the past that's like it was so good in the beginning like you know what i'm saying like and i feel like someone tried to hold on to something so much and try to invest so much time in something that it literally drove them to the brink of madness and and, and you fearing that you might have made a mistake because now you're pregnant and it's like you might be stuck with this because you know like I, I told you you see those traps down there and this person feels like the sacred fool so it's like if you are pregnant it's like you feel like I'm the one that's stuck like you know what I'm saying even though I'm getting away but I'm still stuck dealing with this person you know what I'm saying I'm still stuck Hold on, you guys. Is Brenda you on the phone? No, good. He said, I, I need you to hear us. He said what? He said, um, he said he was going to wait until you're done with your reading. What does he mean? He needs to give you love. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm about to finish. Lord, let me hurry up with this, y'all. Family emergency. Anyway, so let's clarify this real quick, you guys. In the name of Jesus. But like I said, if this is someone that um has issues in their job, it's just I feel like they feel like they spent a lot of time invested, arguing and competing for a position that it was like they never got it. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like a fucking fool. And it's like everybody looked like a fucking fool. All of this confusion and mischief with this situation. You know what I'm saying? Only to end up with nothing at the end and feeling like you are better off just walking away. And I feel like this person really regrets all of the effort and all of the to the measures that they went to to try to fight for this position at this job. Like they went through extreme measures, like put in a lot of extra work, a lot of extra um, like someone working overtime, someone doing a lot of volunteer work and. Like, I mean, downright competing, you know what I'm saying? Like a competition where you could have even ended up beefing with people in the office behind the level that this competition went to this. To, you know what I'm saying? So this is like I have mortal enemies now because of me competing for this position and. For me to find out I did all of that for some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And y'all, y'all playing around like I like for real. Mm -mm. What is this? The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. You guys could possibly be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. So I feel like this is someone that was a little bit older than you, and I feel like they laid it on hard. They laid it on thick. The Devil. Wow. The Devil. I feel like this person was older than you. I feel like this person is a little bit more seasoned in the art of lovemaking, the art of chivalry. With this devil next to them, 
this person is like a habitual liar they're a cheater they are a manipulate i mean this is someone that has like they cheat too like this is a play like beyond a playboy like this is almost like the ace of wands in reverse <laughs> it's like this this is someone here that uses the art of chivalry and the fact that they have a long wand and they manipulate people and play with their minds and their heart thinking that they are going to start a new beginning with them only for it to be complete bullshit really and then the people end up almost addicted to this person they end up addicted to this person they end up sucked up into this person's madness and third party relationships and cheating and competition and fighting um there could have been substance abuse there's a lot of food on the table i feel like i want to say like i feel like it was like a dirty environment or something like that like it was like a lot of mess i feel like this person creates a lot of mess. Do you understand? And a lot of time wasted. A lot of time wasted. And this person knows what they're doing. Like, it's it's like they present themselves as this knight in shining armor coming through. Like this Prince Valium. But under that mask is the devil. And they use their sex. They use their penis. They use their body as ways to entrap people into their manipulation and their control and like once they get you they're not going to let you go you know what i'm saying the devil like you got mixed up with the devil and they sucked you in to the madness and something you thought and, and, and it was like the Ace of Wands, it was like a complete illusion. Like you thought that this was going to go somewhere. And especially if you guys are expecting, if you if there's a pregnancy there, it's like it should have went somewhere. It didn't go. It didn't even like the relationship didn't even take off for the ground. Shit. The six of spades, this is the ending. This is endings for new beginnings. It said there's a reason they're called lessons because they lessen from day to day. The six of spades means endings and new beginnings that's the death card my dear that is the death card that is the death card so let me just clarify this for you so that you can know spades the six of spades is traditionally a card of completion the end of one phase and the beginning of the next a permanent ending, a situation or a relationship that has run its course, the need to let go of what no longer serves, the parting of ways, moving on to something new, making progress, a moving force, a move to a new residence, a mode of transportation, a car, a truck, a bus or a train. So, yeah, it looks like you guys not only and I told y'all y'all are moving with that. Y'all are moving around a trap like y'all are not about to be no fool like the rest of these bitches and get trapped into this shit. And with this five of spades, like y'all who are this Gemini's man, <laughs> like they had it. This says, I heard a queen say only yesterday you deserve to be beheaded. So it's like I'm ending shit with you because I heard only yesterday of the treachery and the type of things that you're capable of because someone just yesterday that dealt with you or had dealers with you said that you deserve to be beheaded for the shit that you did over there oh and then the two of spades violence like get this shit the fuck out of here like you mean nothing to me you're nothing but a pack of cards like this this is this is violent <laughs> god damn gemini my 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 gemini jesus christ the five of spades, traditionally a card of anger and loss. A symbolic meaning of holding a knife. Lord Jesus, the five of spades can denote cutting of someone. Gemini, please don't cut no one. But like, no, because like it literally could get violent like that. Like I do, because like I told you, like I feel like this Gemini is borderline fucking crazy. And it's not that they're 
crazy by nature. Maybe they are crazy by nature because you got to have that in you somewhere. But I feel like this person was pushed. Was pushed because it was so much competition. It was so much mayhem. It was so much drama. And they realized all of y'all motherfuckers are crazy. And I'm crazy right with you because clearly I see like a lot of physical violence. I, I definitely see a lot of physical abuse in this relationship. And it could be from the hands of the female. Um, I see a very volatile female. I see a very volatile female. And, I, and if this is a male dealing with this Gemini female, I would just leave her alone because... I definitely can see that this woman will cut you. She will cut you. It says, um, the hand holding a knife. This card can denote the cutting of someone or cutting someone out of your life. Let's just hope that this person is just going to cut you out of their life, okay? It can also denote a surgical procedure. I mean, that could mean the birth if you guys are about to have a baby, it could, you know, mean that you're about to give birth. Um, it says divorce, quitting, leaving, going at it alone, loss, fear, abandonment, loneliness, depression, separation accompanied by pain and grief and sorrow and tears. The left handed. So especially if you guys were dealing with someone who was left handed or if you're left handed. But yeah, like I said, this is someone, and in this, this right here literally means violence. It says traditionally a card of conflict, disagreement, betrayal, arguments, resentment, holding a grudge, vindictiveness, violence, bad news, a removal, separation, something sharp, pointed, teeth, ice. Like this is someone cutting someone, biting someone, stabbing someone. When this shit ends, I, I, I just, I feel like when it finally ends, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. I could definitely feel like police are going to be called. Like, it's bad. Like, this is fucking bad. This is bad, y'all. This is fucking bad. <laughs> this is really bad. I'm sorry. So, let's go forward, you guys. How the fuck is this a blessing in disguise? I'm assuming the baby... Because this is bad. This is a lot of violence. This is a lot of domestic violence here. It's a lot of domestic violence that was going on in this relationship. Like everyone has fucking gone crazy here. Everyone has fucking gone crazy. Give me guidance and love. Oh, you learned your lesson. And it's like you closing your eyes, just trying to close your eyes and thinking. You're thinking back to the memories. And like this is still someone kind of holding on to the memories of the past and stuff like that. You see how she's holding on to that baby doll? That's something from her childhood. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like all of this violence, this violence and stuff like that. I feel like this violence. This person grew up in their house with this level of violence. Like that's why that level of crazy got easily triggered like that um i feel like whoever this is has like a very dark dark past and it's like you see how she's closing her eyes is it's like i gotta get away from this like this shit is gonna make me literally you know what i'm saying like literally go to the fucking edge of the crazy that i'm not trying to go to this shit is triggering shit from my past like they're thinking about shit that they used to write in their diary when they were a child seeing all of the abuse going on in their home the cheating the fussing the fighting how they used to sit there as a child crying holding on to their baby dolls and this is someone that used to play with their barbie dolls and had like a barbie doll house in their house and they used they had this make-believe life for these their their dolls and they wished that they could just jump in the, that house and live that life and not that life that they were living in their house because I feel like their their childhood was chaotic. It was very abusive and I feel like this person attracts the same type of abuse and they participated in it themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like it's hereditary. Um they need a mature man in their life. What is this? 
the mature man, the main female. And y'all know I don't like that main female card. That main female means that there were other females were married. And they had a home together. So there was a mature man and a main female. So if there was if there's the main female, if it, it unless it's the privileged lady card, that's the, like you understand what I'm saying? So if this was the main woman, this was the one that the mature man, like I told you, I feel like this Gemini was dating an older man. They were married to this older, mature man, and they had a home together. Let's go a little bit further and see what happened. What happened with this mature man, this main female in this marriage, in this house, to make things go this way, where it's ending like this? Give me guidance in regards to what's going to happen in July for my Geminis in regards to this marriage and this household. Give me guidance for my Gemini. What's happening this July? What's happening this July for my Geminis in regards to ooh, a gift? A gift. What is this gift? What is this gift for my Geminis? Shit. Oh, the gift, the child. So the baby is coming this July. The baby is coming this July. Oh. But it says your great fortune is going to be stolen. The gift is a child, but I feel like. Be careful of your money because there's a thief around your, your money. Remember in the beginning I said niggas pocket watching, walk it how I talk it, walk it how I talk it, watch yourself, Gemini. I feel like the blessing in disguise is the child, is the child, I feel like you were just the main female in this marriage, the main female. This marriage card has the number three on there. The blessing, the gift was the baby. But your great fortune, it seems, has been stolen from you. Seems like your great fortune has been stolen from you. Let's go a little bit further. I'm looking at this key card. It says, I was deceived. Give me guidance. The child, again. The child. Give me guidance about this child. Give me guidance about this child. The fox. There's some deception around this child. What the fuck? It says there's some deception and manipulation and treachery. The fox means manipulation, conniving, clever, treachery, deception, sly. The key, discovery, the doorway to unlock the key, the unknown. What's on the other side of this key? What's on the other side of this door? And then this also, the key also means, ooh, my dear God, there's deception around this child, you guys. There's something, there's some, there's something, there's some deception around this child, y'all. There's some deception around this child. And I feel like this person was using clever manipulation with this child. Because I what the fuck just fell down here, y'all? Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> 
and at the bottom means the dog the companion oh my fucking god y'all this person number one there's some deception around the conception of this child either the child is someone else's child and they're trying to play this child off and they're trying to be sly and clever and deceive you to make this child think that it's yours because <laughs> They don't want you to leave. Do you understand what I'm saying? They don't want you to leave. They want to keep you in this threshold. And it's like. This means choices. Because it's like. this to Whoever the person was had a choice. Had a choice. Whether or not they were going to use this key. To figure out what's on the other side. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. I feel like this person, the creation of what of this child was cleverly created so that someone couldn't leave because someone's time, you know what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? And then you got the dog here. Either someone and then you know we up here with the fool we had the trap and then we have the trap right here too someone tried to cleverly manipulate have a child have a pass a child off on someone else so that they wouldn't leave you know what i'm saying because this clock also represents separation this clock represents separation and then this key represents separation from companionship I'm about to clarify this for you guys with the book. With the book. But that fox isn't good. That fox is not good. And then this, this dog was at the bottom of the of the deck. It was at the bottom of the deck. But then at the end of the day, it's like, why would you want to trap a dog though? Why would why are you trying to trap a dog? It's like, and I feel now I'm getting it. Like this is what has drove this person mad. It's like because it was so much competition from all these other people. Now I'm looking at this as, 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 as it's a relationship. But it, it could be finance and career. But and you can spend this in fin finance and career too. So because you, you could read it like. You could read it like someone created. Birthed a brand new project. To kind of trick and manipulate the organization by showing them the, their, their skills. You see what I'm saying? Not realizing the treachery and the manipulation and the conniving and you know what I'm saying? And the deception that was going behind this. You know what I'm saying? Because they're passing it off to be like a new blessing, like a good, innocent thing. But beneath it, it has so much deception because it was created to create a threshold in the doorway to open them up where they can have more time and to solidify this commitment. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that there wouldn't be any separation. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this key also represents, do you understand the unknown that there's something hidden and right on this side of it is treachery, deceit, and you understand in a baby and a child, do you understand what I'm saying? This means the unknown, the hidden. Do you understand what I'm saying? God, gosh, gosh, this is horrible. Like, I'm sorry, like, this is horrible. Oh, my God. Child represents youth, innocent, childlike. And that's why I told you, like, up here, this is someone that is having a moment of regret, feeling like they might have made a mistake. Stooping as low as they did and this is before even this came out I said that before any of this shit came out right before any of this shit or this shit came out right So this is someone that stooped very low you know what I'm saying in in this competition to just to win a war to realize that it wasn't worth it and now they're regretting it because they're stuck with the decision do you see what i'm saying but at the end of the day you're taking your power back and you're walking away from it you're saying it did this shit really wasn't even worth the fight and once you realize it's not worth the fight you're going back to all of these thoughts of your childhood and your past and past relationships and just like why did i let someone take me there you know what i'm saying 
all of this to fight to be the main woman, but you wasn't the only woman. And it's like you let this person in your house and this person gave you the gift of the child, but at the end of the day, your great fortune was fucking stolen. And this person felt like the sacred fool because they wore the crown that they were the one with the baby. But the deceit and the manipulation and everything that was done to create this baby, all to get this dog to commit. You know what I'm saying? All to get commitment and have more time. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the fox, like I said, um, a child, youth, innocent, childlike, play, fun, new, beginning, curiosity, immaturity, learning, stumbling, awareness, friends, security, kindness, gentleness. So, like I said, and that could also just represent, like I said, someone stupid low the child life behavior. The fox representing job, skills, employment, deception, trap, treachery, manipulation, conniving, trip trickster clever cunning hidden intentions the need for caution the need for caution okay and like i said this could have something to do with the job as well this could have something to do with the job if you're not pregnant if you're not pregnant if you're not conceiving or you just had a baby or something like that or have a baby by this person it, 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 it just did. Oh, oh gosh. I'm sorry. Like, this is making me sick to my stomach now because this is not right. This is not good. And it's just like the blessing out of this situation is the child. But it's just like, baby, you shouldn't have had to do all of that for somebody that still, it, this person didn't change. This person is still the Prince of Wands and the Prince of Pentacles in reverse. This person is still out there with their dick fucking doing whatever the fuck they want to do and still ain't offering you shit. It's still all of this for commitment that. You know what I'm saying? And remember, I pulled the, the dog from the bottom of the deck. This shit ain't even fall out on the table for you. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, this key means destiny, threshold, doorway, opening, closing, integral, unlock, hide, clues, solutions, insight, answers, empathy, understanding, certainty, um, lock, knowledge, something being revealed or understood, something hidden. The clock, objectivity, and lighting, standard, separation, alieniz uh, alienization, authority, analysis, discovery, discovery, innovation, perspective, forfeity, institutions, structure, protection. Okay? So it's like... <clears throat> and then the dog, of course... Loyalty, companionship, warmth, friendship. Who in the fucking fucking shit? Like, I swear to God. Like, what in the fuck today, Mo? Anyway. Faithfulness, trustworthiness, honesty, reliability, dependability, encouragement, support, and happiness. So, it's like someone did all of this shit just for someone to commit to them to give them more time to give them a better standard of life to let them in the threshold to get them to open up a door to get them to commit but it's like the way that they went about it was very deceptive and they try to make it seem like it was something innocent but it was like a trap of treachery and people are going to unlock their door to find this out like this is going to come out this is going like and, and and not only that, I feel like people know this and that's what people are talking about. And that's probably why that seven of wands is up there, because I feel like people are accusing you of this. Like, I feel like people are ever accusing the Gemini of this or the person they feel like, you know, what I'm saying someone try to trap the Gemini with this fucking baby. For security. And people are talking about this. And Gemini wants to fuck away from this shit like that. It's like... And Gemini's mad about this shit because... Either Gemini try to trap someone 
for security and commitment and it didn't go their way and now that they feel like they're going mad and the situation made them crazy and they're being angry to violence and they smacking shit around and they're going the fuck off and they're like what the fuck did I do or someone did this shit the fucking Gemini and Gemini is realizing this shit and they're angry because they realize that this person tried to trap them for fucking security and shit like that and they're like what the fuck did I do what the fuck did you know what I'm saying? The only blessing in disguise was the child. Give Okay. This is a secret admirer. It says someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. And then it says new beginning. Okay, Gemini. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Come on, Gemini. That's the fucking way I want to end this shit. Gemini said I ain't worried about no fucking bitch. I ain't worried about nobody. Look, I got my blessing in disguise. I got my baby. I already figured out what this person was up to. This person was trying to trap me for security. I already got other people trying to talk to me. I already got a secret admirer. I got a new beginning. Just try not to get arrested. <laughs> like, yeah, like, this person tried to use this child to use this key to trap someone to committing and being loyal and... You know what I'm saying? They try to play this off like this was faith, like this was destiny, like this was a short thing, this commitment. But it was, it was, it was, it was deceptive. It was lies. It was manipulation. Other than the baby, Jim and I regrets the situation. Or other than the fact that this person has developed skills. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, the Gemini develop a lot of skills competing like this for this work position, for this role. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I would never stoop that low for recognition again. You know what I'm saying? However, I know what I'm capable of. You understand what I'm saying? I know I could walk it like I talk it. You understand what I'm saying? And bitches, pocket watching. You understand what I'm saying? And I got new secret admirer. And I got new beginnings in my life. And I ain't even giving a fuck about nobody pocket watching me, bitch. Laugh now. Cry later. Anyway, Gemini, this has been your reading. I love y'all. Y'all don't hurt nobody. <laughs> Peace.